Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We'll give it 30 seconds. Good evening to you. Okay, well, we'll give it a few more seconds, and then we are out of here. <clears throat> Hello. That's, that's what I'm here for, you know, and it doesn't always work, but we're trying our best. Hey, recording started. It is August 19th. Uh, 2019, 2019, let's get down to business. First and foremost, this is something that I haven't done for a while. And I, I want to talk about it. And if, and if it's old hat to you, I'm going to keep it brief. Okay. I'm going to keep it real brief. But <clears throat> what I want to talk about is what, because there's still a lot of confusion out there about scanning. What do I scan for? Should I should I set up a scan for this? Should I set up a scan for that? Should I set up set up a scan for for this, that, and the next thing? And, and I want to have a philosophical discussion about scanning. That's what I want to have. I want to have a philosophical discussion about scanning. And you're probably saying, you know, not this again, please, Pat. Well, you know what? I want to have a philosophical discussion about scanning. That's what I want to do today. Okay, but can I do, can I have that? First and foremost, I think we would all agree that especially in the OTC, if you are scanning for volume, things that get the most volume, you, sir or ma'am, are scanning for bags. Here are the most active tickers on the OTC for share volume. Read them and weep. How many we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 28. And save for one, maybe two, which I can't believe, but maybe two. And one that wasn't briefly, that's three that are not bags. Three out of 28. Okay, so, so right away, I need to scan for something different. My present, I'm going to present you with two options here. Two options. My presentation of this video is... One, you're able to go into the settings of whatever your broker or, or magic box in the case of Thinkorswim is and, and, and turn off scanning for volume and turn on scanning for new highs. Okay, my hope is that you could do something like this where I can say, hey, I don't want volume. I don't want to scan for volume. I just want to scan for highs. Now it doesn't work at all. Why would it? Right? Why would it work for this? I don't want to scan for volume right now. I only want to scan for highs. I am going to believe that the scanner that comes with your broker allows you to make this switch. However, if it doesn't, 
Good news, and I don't work for this company, by the way. Good news, though. My scanner, guess what it costs a month? Someone take a, take a ballpark shot of what my scanner costs per month. And then we're going to get back into the philosophy of scanning. And I'm going to pull up some examples. Then we'll get back into the philosophy of scanning. I'll save you the trouble because there is a delay here. $6.60 per month. $6.60 per month. If you feel your scanner is too complex, and I don't know your scanner, I, I, I only know scanners where I'm from, and I've, and I've been here my whole life. Okay, and where I'm from, this is the scanner that's available to me because I'm, I'm kind of like a uh, native to the area. If you feel your scanner is agony, go ahead, sign up for it. It's $6.60 per month. I researched it for you. You can have it if you desire. Let's get back to the philosophy of, of scanning, though. Because I think the thing is, I think the thing that, that people do when they're scanning, like for instance, I'm scanning for price action here, which means that I could potentially get something like Chob. That comes up on my scanner with 2000 shares. I could get my scanner absolutely full of this type of garbage. But it becomes very obvious when you when you actually step back and take a macro view of, of this scanner. This is what it looked like at the end of the day. The ones that are providing price action and heavy volume will by gosh daylight PCTL. PFMS, Inno. Doesn't it seem that it has encapsulated everything that's happening? Because the only thing that is happening is price action. If you actually think about what a stock market is and what our goal is in trading the stock market, the only thing that matters is price action. Not volume, price action. I need to know what's moving because if, if something is not moving, then there is no upside for anybody. Nobody, it, nothing is running unless there's price action. Nothing is hot unless there's price action. So, so scanning for volume without price action, uh, you know, it, it, it seems very wasteful. And, and I think the thing that I've noticed with a lot of newer people, um, and, and even me not long ago is um, it's it's just live streamed. It's like brruh, 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 brruh. it's that sound. It doesn't make that sound. But if I were to imagine a sound for it, Dave, it'd be like this. Brruh, 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 brruh. What am I saying? Yes. The whole point of a stock market is for price action. If, some, if there's no movement, if there's no upward movement, if there's no action, if no one's making any money, then it doesn't matter. And for a lot of new traders, I think what happens, or any traders, like you think there's all these tickers out there. There's so many tickers, fly, there, there's so many tickers flying around. Which are the ones that are moving? 
What do I scan for? Price action. Bing. 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 Because if I was only scanning for volume, these would be buried in a pile of shit. Shit. But around here, it's feast or famine. You're either moving or you're moving on nothing. Therefore, only one thing is moving. But it gets better. It gets so much better. But wait, there's more. You're looking for new opportunities. You're looking for the next big runner. Because someone was asking me today, and it was a valid question. He said, well, should I be checking out our Caro shells now? You know, like the Lazar shells have been moving. Can I be should I be checking out Liz our Caro shells? How about this? Let's look at an our Caro shell. Um, hmm. Biff, nah, Biff, Biff's been baked. I don't like that. MXMG? No, it's a good question, Are we? You're right. MXMG. MXMG is a, is a baked, it's a baked ticker. But I know that MXMG could, if it broke its 20 day high, it would notify me. If it broke its 40 day high, it might not notify me. But I would get a couple of ping ping, I get 20, and then eventually I get 40 up here. And you think about how razor thinly these are traded. Well, okay, now I know that this is definitely moving. And there's not a lot of volume. It, like right here, Chob. Okay, so this has hit a six month high, but it's only 2000 shares. But what if someone noticed something right at the end of the day, right before close and didn't get their fill? It's right here. Stock is fun. This is this is the link right there. ih.adfn.com. What if they didn't get their fill on job? Or what if, you know, I see something that's bugging me all day, 20, 40, 6 month, and I'm seeing that because like right here, right, where this volume is, well, what's the correct dollar volume? Just make a quick calculation. 20,000, 0.02. 400 bucks? Mm, that's not liquid yet. 2,000, 147, 3,000 bucks? Ah, that's not very liquid, is it? 15,000, 0.1, mm. 1,500 bucks? Eh. I don't think they're that excited about it yet. 5,000, 0.013. So you start looking, and then and then so all of a sudden, like, like let's say Chubb goes, and now all of a sudden it's a hundred thousand at, at Dub Eight. Okay, someone just hit it for eight hundred for 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 eight hundred extra dollars seconds after I just saw this pop up. Let me take a look. Let me run some steps. The reason a lot of people still scan for volume, and 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 you don't have to is because they don't know what the hell they're looking for, right? Like, even if a, a hot ticker jumped up and smacked them right in the lips, brap, they wouldn't know what to even look for to determine if this was a future runner. You? You know. Show me merger, show me news, show me filing, show me inf important information, show me, you know, let me Google search it. Oh, they got a, they got a giant patent awarded to them. Let me calculate the share structure. Shoot, turnover is only $60,000 and it's low and it's got news. Shoot, I got to try it. 
That's the difference between you and people that have to scan for volume. And you want to know what else? People ask me, how do you memorize so many tickers? Imagine if you took some time away or whenever you had time and you ran steps on every single ticker that crossed your path. I bet you would get to know them pretty well. And I bet if news hit on one or if, or if a shit ton of volume just came across the pipe on one, you'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. I know that's a good setup and I know that's abnormal. I bet that would happen to you. Why did I remember all the tickers? Because I run the steps and the steps and the steps and the steps. If I don't know it, I run it down. If I've never seen it, I run it down until I know it. Okay, my method, like, because a lot of people, they have like magic scanners, magic this, magic that. My method for memorizing tickers, discovering tickers, is, is the most rudimentary. It's this and memory. That's it. I don't have price alerts. I don't have anything of that sort. But you better know that if I'm scanning this way, I've got my finger on the pulse of exactly what's going on. I guarantee it. And I can slice and dice it. Here's your things with 52 week highs today. Inno. TTCS. I don't know that. We'll look at that. PFMS. There's your 52 week highs. Here's your, you, want, you want to at the end of the day, look at all the, the happenings. Here's your six months. Here's your 40 day. And so on and so forth. So I actually discovered this type of scanning using equity feed and then I unsubscribed because I realized that this was 93% um, uh, cheaper or something. Um, but, but does that help you understand that the philosophy of scanning? Because I still think it's lost on a lot of people what scanning should be because I, I and it gets perverted like it'll it will have this chat and then all of a sudden there'll be people will be scanning for I don't know what they're scanning for unicorn shit <laughs> we set up the scanner we saw the four big runners on the day there's only four things that move that had real volume Garbage, 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 garbage. Whoa, what's going on there? And then as they develop over the course of the day, you can say, okay, you know what? I, I, I remember daylight. This is how you scan. There is no other way to scan. There it is. Thud provided it. And if you're watching the video today, let me stretch it out for you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go absolutely wild right now. I'm going to go wild very, very, very soon momentarily I'm gonna just go go bonkers any second now when this starts running I am going to go so wild any moment here we go There it is.
If you feel your broker is too complex, there's the option for you. I looked it up for you. I did the research for you tonight because I do not want people not seeing what I see because, you know, the core, it's, it's not that I'm that smart. It's just right here, I've got perfect court vision, bird's eye view of everything that's going on. And it just rolls through all day. And then all of a sudden, something gets, you know, something gets hit over and over and over, right? Because like, it'll show me multiple six month highs. Like, let's say when the, the 12 month high is point, point oh two, but each six month high so it'll go six month high dub seven six month high dub eight six month high dub nine six month high dub ten until it hits that 12 so it'll so it'll just light you up and if you can't set your scanner settings on your broker that way here's a six dollar option for you because i hate paying for things so i found the cheapest Good. That is how to scan. And it's the philosophy of scanning that's most important, not the tool. It's the mindset of scanning that is the most important. What is moving, then what has volume. That is how you scan. <clears throat> Good. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, finally it worked. Thank you, Thud. Well, let's look at the day's trades and I'm and, and let's let's have a serious conversation. Okay. First and foremost, ONPH. Now, ONPH did not get provided. You do alerts? Who makes the calls? Oh, come on. Can I, can I do, can I do it today? Let me try. Who makes the calls? You trade shrooms? OMPH was not an alert for me today. It was not in the recap. And you're probably asking why. Well, there's why. Here's another reason why, and this is a, a way to give you pause when you're looking at something that has news and trying to determine if it is illiquid or not. Or will be illiquid. ONPH is a pink current ticker that has been sitting down here on this setup with this share structure. We went in, we confirmed the current amount of floating shares at 19 million, which where I'm from is pretty darn thin. But OMPH has been current. OMPH did their symbol change from SNET to OMPH in June. Right here. And like, Five people cared. Five people. That's why this chart's incomplete, because it's a new symbol. It doesn't always happen that way, but it happens sometimes. So, so I know that this beautiful setup, pink current, that has been called Oncology Pharma, has been sitting there on this setup, on this float, for this long, with Zippo for volume, Zippo. Oncology Pharma, where I'm from, it's a pretty um, open and shut case that it's a cancer thing, isn't it? So all this time, nobody cares. And then they have news today that they signed a letter of intent with Kalos for, believe it or not, cancer stuff. Now there's a good, there is a chance that this news will run for sure. But if history is any indicator, ONP people been aware of OMPH being current. They they know it. 
that we get it. Most people know what oncology is. So, so why is there news saying we're going to do cancer stuff? The thing that's going to break it free from, from being a zero volume bag. And I wasn't necessarily convinced it would. And truth, truth be told, very, very, very few people made out with a profit on this. The, the window of opportunity to be profitable on this was so razor thin that I didn't feel comfortable walking 300 people into it. And I know these are frustrating for people. And I know, well, it would have been nice to hear about it. Well, it would have been nice for one hour. And then it really would have not been nice. So, you know, I try and and it's not that I'm trying to be like, you know, decide for people what they want to do because because you see everything that I see. You can try it if you want. But my hope is if I'm dropping it into the recap, there's there's a chance that it has a, a higher level of liquidity where someone who's on the go, on the move, in between meetings could take it and not get instantly lit up and destroyed. So that's the point of the recap room. But do I expect continuation here? I don't know. Um, probably not. <laughs> Unless people really pick up the gauntlet here and, and then understand the share structure and move towards locking it up. But, but my gut tells me that it's going to be painful because if history is any indication of what ONPH is, it is painful. And it's been cancer. So I didn't feel it was alert worthy for me. I decided the one thought I had here, which might be food for thought for you is everybody was talking about NGCG. Everybody was talking about, you know, Inno is Inno the runner. Everyone was talking about this and talking about that. And I was looking at a pink current cancer thing with a 19 million share float i was able to identify with an opportunity for me to take some below a penny and i decided why don't i not do what everyone else is doing and try something new and boy did i ever i i took um a, i barely got any at dub nine and then i took a bunch more i think at 27 cents and sold the majority of it around five cents. So it was a very profitable trade for me. Um, but it's that, it's that um, confidence, or even, or not even confidence. It, it's just willingness to be different and willingness to take the risk. Just like scanning for volume, most people will still go back to scanning for volume because they feel safer in the herd. Many, many people, they, they know how to scan for price action. They're supposed to scan for price action and they go back to scanning for volume because price action opportunities and actually being the, 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 trying to be on the bleeding edge of what's next is very, very scary. And I told you before, I've got nothing to lose. I could be dead tomorrow. So you know what? I'm going to try something that not everyone else is doing. And then all of a sudden, it got a bunch more volume. It got a bunch of price action. And they came chasing too late. They were chasing into me on the ask. Nothing secret here. The news was there for everyone to see. But I just decided that I would be first. So that's ONPH, but it was one that was thin enough and, and neglected enough historically that I did not feel comfortable walking everyone into it because I, I have a feeling, and based on this chart, that every single person would be baggy on it. Second of all is uh, ATVK. I said it in the video and I'll say it again and I'll, you know what? I'll say it now. I've been saying it for years. Sometimes things you think there's relief and there isn't. 
And so I really decided to measure what my time was worth here. And it's worth more than one tick shit. So goodbye, ATVK. Give me a merger announcement or get out of my face. Bag. Ooh. <laughs> Okie doke. Here's the deep DD cut. Daylight. You know, I love to have fun. I mean, everyone's, um, you know, people know me as someone that's kind of the life of the party. Uh, you know, everyone says, what a fun guy. What was that, hun? No, remember that, remember that time? How many years? Okay. Well, let's, let's dive into daylight. <clears throat> A little perspective never hurts, I suppose. Okay. So DOYT, and thanks to our man Travis, also known as <laughs> Slappy McGarbage Slap, he's been keeping an eye on DLYT. And the reason is <laughs> because DLYT had a pre-14C and definitive 14C announcing that they would do a reverse split. So the pre-14C is the proposal and the definitive 14C is the ratification, the confirmation that the proposal has been accepted. When you see a pre-14C and a definitive 14C, especially on an OTC ticker, what you find is that the executives have um, super delegate votes in their preferred shares that will absolutely override any shareholder vote. So you get a shareholder thing in the mail from one of these stinky pinks asking for your opinion, throw it in the trash. It doesn't matter what you think. And this definitive 14 C, it was very interesting because it, it usually would say, hey, on July 11th, the company received written consent in lieu of a meeting by holders of 51% of the voting power to authorize the board to effect, effect a reverse split of the company. Let me zoom it in. I can't, I can't even see. Of at a ratio in whole numbers of not less than one for 550 and not more than one for 2000 subject to the board's discretion. In accordance with the written consent, the board has the authority, blah, 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 blah. Two, select one of the approved ratios and effect the approved reverse split by filing the reverse split amendment with the Secretary of State of New York at any time after the approval, which is July 11th, provided, however, that if the reverse stock split amendment has not been filed with the New York SOS by the close of business, August 12th, 2019, the board will abandon the reverse split amendment. But here's the big thing, and here's how I was able to confirm, and not that other people haven't confirmed prior, so there may be something else going on, but here's how I was able to confirm. If the reverse stock split is implemented, the reverse stock split would also reduce the number of authorized shares, which is rare. Usually it's just the OS and the float and then dump it all over again. Right? Well, check this out. DLYT AS currently is 1.1 billion. Now, this 1.1 billion that's showing is prior to August 12th. So that doesn't give me the comfort that this split may or may not be filed with the New York SOS. Yes?
Good. I'm glad they make me do it twice. I love that. Deus Corp, active only, begins with the CAPTCHA. Search the best. I got Deus Corp. Now, here's the thing. When I go to the filing history, all I get is it. I only get name history. I can view the certificate. It'll offer me to, to download a bunch of stuff. That I don't understand these things. Right here. If, in fact, the split was filed for or implemented, that wouldn't show that. It would show whatever the ratio they have, the divided ratio. So let's say it's a one, one for 500, right? It would show 2.2 million, so on and so forth. So I feel comfortable that the reverse split has not been complete. However, it's August 19th. Which means that since the 12th, obviously no one has cared about this prior to today. It has only, it, it has gotten zippo since the 12th which made me feel as if you know what okay here we are this is an opportunity which which we may be quite on the you know the low end of i'm looking at this chart i'm seeing it's moving you know here's how it used to move when it was getting dumped on and here's how it's moving now and nothing volume big movement which is super nice but you know if if that was always known since the 12th why is it moving today And this is very helpful, Travis. And and this is this is all um, slappy McGarbage slaps work. So I so I'm not taking credit for it. But there's another thing. Which may give you a thought as to why suddenly it's moving. They have a convertible note due August 20th and a big one, 1.5 million bucks worth of shares. Tomorrow, that's when it's due. And there's a bunch of caveats around it and there's exercise prices and stuff, all of which they can amend to make sure they dump on you good and solid. But, you know, there's a chance that there are shares that are needing to be converted here that, that in this illiquid situation, they'll be unable to do so. So maybe it's time to turn the tap off for a little while. Maybe it's time to pump up some news. Maybe it's time to, 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 to start hiring some pumpers because it was funny the amount of volume that happened at the end of the day it's like someone knew something was going to happen because if it was just the reverse split thing that would have happened on the 13th so that was never my ultimate you know unless unless just the, the collective consciousness woke up to it which i don't think that was the case but you know for me knowing that the reverse split is not happening doing the exact same dd i did which took about 35 seconds and the fact that it's now actually providing real price action because if i was scanning only for volume daylight would not have crossed my desk would it This 23 break, that's a 20. That's a 40. This 31 break. I'm 
that's not a six month, but I got the 20 and the 40 like that. And that 40, right? Each, each time that it got higher, right? There's a new 40. 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 40 day high. So I I can't deny, I can't ignore this anymore. It's breaking all these highs and I see that it does have volume. It's not just 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 two assholes with paint brushes playing on the bit in the ass like 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 blue man group or something. Right? What's in store? Worth a rip? Um, for sure. For me, it was. <clears throat> WSGF, listen. If you don't like it, you got to go. That's it. People people come here from all sorts of, sorts of walks of life. But the majority of the walks of life are bagging something they bought at the top for years where the DD is known to every every person with an ear and then coming here and grabbing some it's not moving it's a pain in my ass do I want it to move ah uh, yeah I wanted MMMW to move as well for a couple weeks I believe Turned out all right. This is where WSGF lives. Okay, so if you want to try and make it happen with that amendment, then this is where you must live until you no longer live. However, there's something to be said for, listen, if something happens, you slap it, you know, you know we'll be first. But for me, I've just tucked some away in and I'm not looking at it. You know, I would like to just be in a situation. I got, I have a, a, a load of shares that are ready at 100% gain, half of them at 100% gain. And when that moment hits, I was like, huh? Oh, cool. That's it. That's all there is to it. The DD added up. It's just, it's just not fun. So, you know, being frustrated about it, it's like um, being angry at rain. Rain is falling. Your anger toward rain will not stop it. Okay. Good. <laughs> We're having fun. I'll see what else is um happening. Oh. I'll show it. Okie doke bag here big bag here this was a tough one um yeah i'm just gonna get that boom <laughs> i love it i don't know that that's not bad though 153 grand honestly 153 grand 4.6 million shares on a 19 million share flow yeah there's some there's some dilution but this is not a game here okay this is still on watch but it's just thin up thin down 75 g's when did it all come it came in the last hour nice if you were mad, also, um, Daylight, if you were mad that you didn't have twos, I got good news for you. No one else did. <laughs> You're good. I think there's a, a nice 10 spot, $10 Renos in the twos, and the rest is 35 and up. So I think you're okay. 
if you're mad about that, uh, you know, if you if you got in with me around 35, 36, whatever, um, you know what, you're giving it a good fair rip. I'll show this to you. It's weird, and and then hopefully we can just put it to bed because there's a lot of TTCS, and I I just wanna I wanna help you. This is quite a nice bit of action here. I'm interested in that. See that? I like that. No, boy, that was a hell of a runner. But it's just this is you know. It, are these really? I'm not ready to take that to take that leap on Cali. I'm sorry. PFMS, listen. Um, PFMS is an empty shell. There's no merger in it. If you want to trade it, super cool. Run to the money. I'm easy going. However, just know that when a merger really happens on one of these Lazar tickers, they will drop PFMS ass like a hot rock. Because most of them know deep down there's no value there. If you're willing to play in that environment, just like NGCG, you want to you want to you want to play in the IMO mud, you're gonna get splashed with IMO. Right? Which is why I'm such a catalyst junkie. Everyone's saying it. Um, so good luck with it. Uh, for me, I just don't feel like the stress of endless walls on something without a catalyst that's been getting bought up since trips. Believe it or not, call me crazy, right? <laughs> call me crazy. EMPM, it never stops. Another beautiful day. Cease trade for me, but gosh darn it. No, I don't like what just happened here. Oh, thank God. I've never done that. That was really actually a scary moment. But EMPM, if you were trading that on the 30, you've had some really wonderful, wonderful opportunities um, to get it, you know, and, and just enjoy it on the 30. And it's been just a delight, really. Um, what a delightful 30 trade. You just never had to do anything but trade it on the 30. No news. No one's talking about it. It's just a... a liquid stock that people trade and that's that's where you want to get like a dcgd and empm you want to get to that space where you know that volume will come again you know and and that's not my job here my job is not to find those because those already exist my job is to find the next one of those hdii i checked golden panegyric uh, also known as Chinese Canadian weed. Uh, there's nothing new that I can see here, so enjoy um, enjoy that. Inno um, is is a, another trade that I entered, and Inno is just a great setup. But it, again, just like PFMS, there's no catalyst here, um, and I decided at point zero zero one eight that it was just too good to be true. Um, it, it looked a lot like SKPI and S SDRC, and I thought I'd give it a shot and saw some good upside. Um, I did manage to sell half at 16, which I thought was quite spectacular of a sell looking back. Um, and the rest haven't, haven't crossed on the 30 yet. So will the pump continue or is it over? I don't know, but here's what I do know. Um, there isn't a catalyst. Um, so I don't have to. Um, IBGR, they, they're finally freeing the baggies. It's been, a, it's been a, it's been a tough year for IBGR baggies and they're finally getting a, getting a breather. They um, assaulted me on, on Twitter this weekend. And, you know, it's it's funny how it goes, isn't it? You, you try your best to be honest. Even, you know, you never front load. You, you, you try to hand over the skills that you have as opposed to just using the skills to, to, to prey on people. And you make one nice song and, and little D and the next thing you know, you're a target. Well, you know what? I've been there before. Can't stop me. You can't stop me. It's too late. It's over. I'm happening now. You can't hurt my It does hurt my feelings. I'm going to be honest with you, but not enough to stop me. Um, PCTL, just spectacular. Um, 
I feel it's too slow. I, I feel personally that I'm a little bit tired by it. But for those of you who are in it, you might be looking at a 30 downward cross rejection and more continuation. If you traded it on the daily, you never sold PCTL. You never sold it, which is just a wild thought. I'm alive. I'm here now. I'm in the OTC now. It is what it, Anki is a huge bag. You don't have to. Uh, Ural, also known as uh, the former X train. Um, I'm going to tell you right now the CEO that they fired, which they didn't, has uh, billions of shares ready to dump. And every time it moves a bit, if you wonder why it moves strangely, that's him whacking all the bits. So um, knock yourself out. Me, my schedule, you wouldn't believe it. You would not believe this schedule. Um, every time I open it, I, I, I wonder. You know, how am I going to, I don't care for this, get through the next day? CMGO, nice action here. If you're interested in it, go ahead. Trade it on the 30. Um, I, I don't even hate it out of principle. Like, I'm cool. But I just, boy, oh, boy. It looks really good. I mean, it just looks it looks really good. That's it. And 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 dare I say that that all those shares that got dumped on people and and all those bag holders are slowly but surely getting worked off and it's moving up on less volume. I dare say. Uh, do I want to right now? I I just again this this schedule. Um, yeah, they sure did. They sure did. They sure did lock it up. Hey, DCGD, it just keeps on keeping on. They're not selling any shares, so you can trade that pretty reliably because there's no dilution happening here at all. Um, again, we found it. We did it. My job is to find the next thing. So if you want to trade that on the 30, get it, girl. Um, I'm here so because I never leave. I never leave. I'm never not watching. I'm always looking. Arson had that huge offering, which frightened me, and, and I will just continue uh, not to participate. And I feel late now, and, and I'm fine. Cirque is a bag. Uh, Beta Music Group is a bag currently, and I think it will continue to be. Uh, Playas is a bag right now. Uh, you won't have fun with it. IGNG moving a little bit. It was a great reverse merger for us, but that's not going to cut it for liquidity for me at that price. Sorry. Um... Pure as a bag. Uh, one hell of a run, though. God bless. No. Um, I don't know that. I'll take a peek at it. I don't like it. MCOA is a bag. Let me hit you hard. Bag. Boom. Export. Whoa, big bag. Bag. Paul on it. Whew. No. What is this? This is a caveat emptor, completely defunct bag. Bag. Another day of volume on this? Idris Erba bag. Bag. Do you like Idris Elba? We're going to provide you news with a man named Idris Erba. <laughs> 30 watch here. Uh, slow though. Got real heavy. Like when it lost 50% of its value after people were smashing 10 gram worth above 0 0.075, you got a lot of resistance to fight through. You need, you need a long period of consolidation before you can move again because there are a lot of people in it, terrified, looking for thoughts just from last week, right? So it's it's real squirrely right now. VYST, Bagatini, just, just head out. Jump out. Do something with your life. G it's a personal failure of mine. You know, I uh, I said trips by July 15th, and it hit um, 0 0.0014, I think. Um, and now it's moving on low volume. I, I don't feel like it. And they had a huge JS raise. Uh, so... Um, 
you know, you got to ask yourself, what's your time worth? Um, good. I, and I have to look at a couple of findings quickly. Um, I'll save you the trouble. I don't know this. Fine, I'll look at it. I won't like it. Boring. Bag. I don't care. TTCS, listen, here's what happened with TTCS. They had a name change with a change of control earlier. And then what happened is Lazar took the shell and they changed the name back to Thai Technologies. The officers of the company, if you look, actually hold... And this is why I asked Subharmonic. This is why I asked for the whole thing. They don't hold a majority stake. They are not the... He's the CEO, but he is not the majority holder of the OS. You know who is? Shellman. This is a shell. It was called Thai Technologies before, and it is once again. Therefore, I don't have to. Um, NZIH, I don't know. That control dispute is actually pretty terrifying, but maybe very interesting. Um, it's okay. I don't know. Do your DD on that. I don't care about this. Okie doke. Bag here. Bag. Sandy Stewart? Sandy Steel. <laughs> That's what it is. Bag here. Bag. Let me hit you hard with it. Just push on. That's the thing you gotta do with Bag. It was a great run though. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You bashed it. No, I didn't. God, I, I, I. Hmm. Bag. Heavy duty bag there. Bag. Scam. This was the one that was interesting me. And by interesting, I mean not interesting. And Travis, you were asking about this find. They have no convertible notes now. You remember this? Um, and it was very interesting because I've been watching this because it's, it's a reinstatement play that never really did it. It happened in December. All of a sudden, their converts, convertible notes payable went from... 1.327 million to zero. They have no convertible debt. How did it happen? <clears throat> Which could be very exciting. Okay. So they've got 1.5 million shares of RX1 redeemable convertible. This is what they did. They made them preferred stock that are convertible. So it's now actually become derivative liability, not instantly convertible debt. So they've got RX1, 1.5. 5 million. Yes. 1 million of RX2 and 500,000 of RX3. RX2. <laughs> allows automatic conversion into company stock on a 100 for 1 basis so they have 1.5 million that would make it 1.5 billion or perry passu i don't know him i've been around the otc a bit i don't know perry
voluntary conversion. The company decides they want to convert. And then you have 100 for one. So we had 1 million, I believe, of this. Now that's, I don't, I can't keep up. 1 billion? I don't know. But, but so what they've done is, is, they, if, is they've crammed snakes into a can and then taken them off the balance sheet. And then when it catches volume, blah, the snakes jump onto the balance sheet, jump into your account. It's very brilliant. It's brilliant accounting. But with that being said, before I hate on it, um, you know, there are a lot of shares to convert here. And Find gets zero for volume, zero. So they got to figure something out. If they're going to get these people paid. So maybe there is a run in find. I, I don't know when it is. I would I would be interested to see that giant catalyst, that giant promo, that giant pump. Find IMO. IMO. Big boy's loading it. Right? Maybe that day will come. Because the, 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 these people cannot have taken that deal on a ticker that gets zero. It'd be like, listen, let me pass you some shares. You can convert those. And I'd be like, well, no one buys, buys this. So why would I take that deal? So there must be a plan in the works. Or the people that they owe money to are total morons, which is a 50-50 split at this point, because we see a lot of these tickers never get volume. So it's food for thought. Anyways, let's head out. I'll jump on the Discord for a few minutes if you want to be interactive. Um, I'm feeling interactive for sure, and, and I hope this was a helpful. I feel like we jam-packed a lot into it. I hope this was a helpful session, and uh, have a good evening. Heat zone. Still hot. Heat zone still hot. Thank you.